Hey everybody, welcome back to Skies of Arcadia Legends. I figured that before we went and uh, had a look at Dangrel Island, um, we'd take a careful business. Get rid of this Vice the Fallen Pirate rating. So with that in mind, I'm back in Nazrod. And look at this guy up here. Hey. Doesn't he look a little bit, uh, a little bit familiar to anyone else? Could, uh, could this be the guy making trouble? Come on, Vice, turn around. Could this be the guy that uh, everyone thinks is me? I mean... I mean, he looks like he's 12. So, you know. Whoa. <laughs> They're like sexier versions of us. Of course you're an impersonator. She's a bit extreme. <laughs> yeah, you guys aren't getting the Delphinus. Right now, I've done a little bit of reading up in on this battle in preparation. I'm sure you can kind of guess how they fight. Very similar to us. Vise primarily uses offensive attacks and will use Cutlass Wrath, which is Cutlass Fury. Anita will do status stuff. And Fina Fina will primarily use uh, magic. So what we want to do Is we want to make sure we are well buffed and also well defended. Now it's probably a good idea to use um, Enrique's defensive moves over Vice's for this because unlike Vice's defensive moves which only work on physical attacks, Enrique's defensive super move will help protect against super moves. So that in mind might be worth using an aura of valor so we can really just pile on quite quickly just a shield may righteousness be our shield shield of justice yep It doesn't have the counter attack effect. Here goes. But it does mean that uh it does mean that super moves won't affect us too badly. Now we have the advantage in numbers. Full spirit. Gotcha. Ow. Great, she's not fatigued. Okay, so 
so we want to keep our uh, we want to keep our shields up. We also want to make sure. It's tempting to use the crew attack, but I'm not going to. So we want to use Anita. We want to get rid of Anita first because she keeps buffing everybody. Lunar winds. Just a shield. Her, her attacks also cause that effect. A drill nos effect. So you lunar winds and we'll take all your buffs away. God, his voice is so annoying. Yeah, he'll still do. 1500 damage, so we're going to need to get get our heels going soon. Ha! <laughs> Shout out of luck with that. Ow. Yeah, she's nearly dead, so we'll do that one more time and get rid of her. Hmm, maybe not. Cut this fury on her. Probably be enough. Main focus is to get rid of the Ica doppelganger. Okay. Let's try this. And that helps take off a little bit of pressure. Oh, almost, not quite. gonna work. She pretty much just uses magic. Get rid of, uh, get rid of those debuffs. use these defensive spell, uh, moves too much, like just a shield and all that, but they come in very handy in this battle. Bye Anita! Enrique is pretty much just reduced to defense this time round. No, um, no attack from him. You don't want to be using physical attacks on Vise too much because he will occasionally use what is essentially Skull Shield. Revenge, I think he called it. Always go for a little more, uh, a little more focus. Make sure I've got Pirate's Wrath available. Not a huge amount going on right now. It's one of those fights that once you have a strategy and you stick to it, and you're not forced to deviate from it. 
it doesn't turn into uh, much trouble. There we go, Cutler's Wrath. See, it's tempting, I'm sure, to uh, get Aika to start doing some healing. But you don't want to be doing that. She has to keep her shields up. And the same with Enrique. These two cannot drop their shields. So we continue to use Sakruan Crystals. Hope that we get in on time with it. And that Aika doesn't get knocked out. There we go. Let's try this. Jean is pretty quick, so. Might be worth taking a turn out to try and use Drill Nut. There we go. We'll use Cutlass Wrath on Aika again. Let's see if we can get Vice to use Drill Knot on one of them. Moons, mm. Moons ain't blessing you today, mate. Oh, I've only known only no Drill Knot. you to have a Sakruan crystal. Delta shield. You know Drillnoss? Oh, you only know Drillin as well. Hmm. I wonder what the best way to do this is. Aika can survive another hit from uh, Cutlass Wrath if she gets it with these shields up, so she's fine. Here we go. Yep. That's his defensive move. Clearing debuffs. Oh, missed! Damn! Moons, bless us. See, this is what I need. I need everyone training on yellow magic now. Stag the guard on top of just a shield. Probably not a lot. Got nobody training in yellow at the minute. Ooh, so close. Uh... Not that impressive, actually. Without Enrique here, this battle gets uh, quite annoying because you have to take Vice out of your attack rotation. Because you have to, you have to alternate between defense and attack. Just fighties now. Gotcha. I 
have some defensive and focusing turns. Start letting off some Pyrus Wrath in a bit. He's determined to take out Ica. Okay, she can't take another one of those. So we need to get Sakrulin off quickly. It's this sort of disappeared for a bit. So if I do that, will you have enough to do that? You do that. You do that, yes. This is super annoying. It's just one of those slog battles, you know, where you have to just have to make sure you keep at it. Come on, really? Glad I got a lot of these uh, uh, Sakuan crystals. Delta Shield anymore because he doesn't use magic. As a thought. You, nobody knows Drill Knots. I can heal myself. Do you know Drill Knots? You do know Drill Knots. Excellent. This will be the one time he does use magic. <laughs> oh wow, only 543. He must be guarding this turn. Let's try this. I wonder if I'd just come into this battle right out of the Afutuma area. This might be a little bit more difficult. Gotcha. No kinders? Uh -uh. Bye bye, Vies. And we reclaimed our name. Oh, hey, new silver magic. Rizalem. Excellent. Got some uh, some items for everyone, too. The Tuna Cutlass. Hey. They're back here. We were on. We were on our ship. Oh, come on, really? Really, Vice? Throw him off your ship. God, you guys are way too forgiving.
Well, that was a thing that happened. Now we're Vice the Fearless. Sadly, you know, the, uh, yeah, very low accuracy and not that great power. Sadly, the weapons we got, not so great. Ooh. Very high accuracy will always confuse enemies. But doesn't, uh, doesn't have as much damage. Not that keen on it. The robe, I think it's for Fina. Yeah. Increases her will, which I think increases the amount of spirit we can have. But look at the drops and everything else. Yeah, sadly, not particularly great items. Oh well, we can just sell them. Let's go see what the uh, Sailor's Guildmaster has to say for himself. Now that we're all done with this mess. Troubles quickly. Yeah. I don't have any discoveries to sell you, do I? Oh, I do. Who else is on the wanted list? I think when the painting's coloured in, it means I've beaten them. Except for Boltor. Yeah, I'll face again. I think this guy's hanging out in uh, Sailor's Island. These guys are an X and S. Lord Zivelin Bane. Piastal wants to see us again. I'm not going to go bother with that just yet, you know. I think now's a good, good time to pay a trip to Sailor's Island anyway. I think it's Sailor's Island. Sailor's Island will have upgraded their shops. save. And that fight took 25 minutes. I'm just going to go above the clouds. The enemies that I face aren't really worth the hassle of fighting. For the small amount of experience they give. When you're going through the uh, more important areas then, yeah, you know, yeah. You make sure you grab all the experience you can. Man, dock ship is flying pretty high. Item shop. Last time I came in here, she was telling me off for uh, 
deeds I didn't do. Oh, hello, Sir Crude and Crystals. Plenty of those. Get some more of these. Just because. Don't want a charm. Oh, wow, they sell for interesting amounts. I bet you will. She really does like Vice, doesn't she? Not quite. You know, I may have used a ship with a gigantic cannon. Ooh, an X cannon. Enables large ships to blast small ships out of the sky. Red properties and high accuracy and low spirit. First of all, let's get ourselves an X cannon. Compound deck. High defense, low dodge, low speed. Eh. Not particularly worried. Ooh. Attack and defense power for four turns. Yeah, why aren't I using these instead of quicker? Eee, they cost a lot. Right, let's get 20 of them. Complete kits. Got another five of those. Is it worth me getting that? I mean, the attack power drop is annoying. The accuracy is quite nice. So that's really about it. Should have sold him the other cannon. Oh well, I'll do it. I'll sell the armor for the cannon. Yep, this is the guy that is on one of the. Oh, hello. On one of the wanted lists. I'm not going to face him right now. First of all, how about I sell you this big cannon? Ooh, a flutter blade. Hey, here's some hints of who we're going to get back in our party. Benefits are quite good, aside from the loss of accuracy and dodging. God, Fina's still wearing that. Loss of will, but a boost everywhere else. Should probably buy two of those and have them in, them in reserve. I've got what one was it? Vengeance armor? Vengeance armor. Well, hey. You know, I think now's as good a time as any to leave it off. And we can make our way to Dangrel Island. So, uh, thanks very much for watching, folks. See you next time. Bye bye.